Hi, everyone. Welcome to Domain Sherpa. And thank you for tuning in to the podcast with the best domain name and digital asset content in the world. Today's episode is a Domain Sherpa review titled Shane Returns, featuring Drew, Adam, and Shane back on the show after a short hiatus. On today's show, we play the domain game featuring bringyourdog.com, yourbit.com, greatdigital.com, and zho.com. Then we've got the Name Jet in a Jet segment sponsored by Name Jet. And we talk about some domains coming up for auction, including wolfs.com, eliminate debt.com, travel. Travelbug.com and Booyah.com. Drew also clarifies some of his comments from our last episode about our use of GoDaddy landers for buy now domains. And we also talk a bit about Bitcoin as it just passed the $57,000 mark. And remember, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, you can also watch the video version at DomainSherpa.com and on our YouTube channel at DS.TV. You can also listen to the shows on Apple and Spotify and other podcast platforms as well. So please make sure to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and all that good stuff every where you can and help Domain Sherpa grow the pie. We also integrate our shows now with Muse.ai, which provides search functionality for the shows and transcripts as well. So definitely check all that out. And props to our sponsor, Dan.com, the number one place in the world to buy and sell your domains with a special platform made for domain investors. And special shout out to our own business, Media Options, the number one domain brokerage in the world, specializing in domain acquisition, sales, and appraisals. Find out more at MediaOptions.com, where you can also sign up for our newsletter for the the best domain names and domain opportunities available in the market every week and also featuring key insights and other helpful information related to branding, naming, and domain investing. And last but not least, it's time to start getting ready for NamesCon in Austin in June. So go to namescon.com for details on how to get registered. It's going to be a good time. With that, it's now time to get into this episode of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. So let's go. What's up, Sherpa Network? Thank you for tuning in today. My name is Jonathan Tenenbaum, a.k.a. JT, a.k.a. J. On, a.k.a. Sherpa Winfrey, a.k.a. John Burgundy, the host and producer of Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Today's show is a Domain Sherpa review. We get into the minds of successful domain investors using real examples to learn strategies and tactics to become more successful domain name investors ourselves. These are the experts. These are the OGs. And we have the return of one of the one of the real OGs today, which I'll get to in a second with the uh, with the AKAs. We got four segments to a domain Sherpa review, the grand opening. That's where I intro the Sherpas. We see what's going on with them, talk about some related things, some unrelated things. Segment two is the domain game. We hear about what the Sherpas recently bought or sold. Everybody guesses on the price. We keep some score, eventually get some swag to the winner. Everybody's rocking some swag today, so you can see it's a real thing. Segment three, we got Name Jack in a Jet, sponsored by our friends at Name Jet. We review a list of domains coming up for auction, see what the Sherpas like and what they don't like. And then last but not least, we got Grand Closing, where we discuss anything we haven't covered already, what's going on in the space, the market, trends, current events, allowing our guests to mention to promote anything they want to talk about that we have not already discussed. Yeah. With that, let's go ahead and introduce the Sherpas. Guess who's back, 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 back again, again, again. Guess who's back, back, back. Tell a friend, it's the man, the one and only Shane Culture, a.k.a. Sugar Shane, a.k.a. Honey Shane, a.k.a. Mike Rowe, a.k.a. Blame It on the Shane, a.k.a. House of Shane, a.k.a. the Blue Oyster Culture, a.k.a. the Culture Personality, a.k.a. doing it for the culture in Shane and the membrane in Shane and the blockchain. Come back, Shane. And he is back, in effect, on the show What's up, dude? How you living? You shaved your head and everything. You got your swag on. Yeah. Well, Drew said he said I couldn't come back on until Bitcoin hit fifty five thousand, and I shaved my head. So, bang. <laughs> checking all the boxes, man. So, yeah. Uh, so, so, what's I up, man? It, then Bitcoin hit. And now here we are. Here we are, yo. It is a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful cases. day in the neighborhood. Beautiful That's day really, in the neighborhood. It is. It a really beautiful is. Day. New beginnings. That's why they shaved right. the head. Start over. Let's. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. It grows back thicker. So old <laughs> McDonald had a farm. And uh, you know, like we just we just living out here, man. We just doing what we're doing. It's great to see you back. You know what I'm saying? And uh so what's up, dude? Hey, what's going on? Tried a couple things and uh we're back, still in domains. Now I'm doing domains full time. Like that was last year I retired. I zoom met with people, tried to decide what I'm gonna do. Domains. You know, I love it, man. Can you imagine that? Like we say on the show, it's like we say right here I'm on Domain Sherpa. 
all roads lead to yeah. domains, right? Yeah. Let's get it. And yes. Uh, so, well, that's what's up, man. Well, hey, uh, you know, all good. It's funny too because it's like you look and it's like we're gonna we're doing all this like welcome back. It's like you know you were on the show like maybe six weeks ago. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, three months. <laughs> three. It literally has been like three months. There's, yeah, no, it's uh, but you know I was yearning. I was traveling I for two of those. Like, man, yeah, 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 yeah. that's well, true. You've not... been gone. How many? How many times you slept in your bed since I've been gone? Maybe twenty. I... <laughs> yeah. It is it is uh you know so, the short straw you know but um all right but all, all good no, all good so but dude love getting the band back together so happy to have you back on the show and uh that's it that's yeah i appreciate it about. well yeah no and it's great because Absolutely. look at the end of the yeah. day like we've always said you know we're out here trying to you know give the audience as much oh, but I do have to caveat that Bitcoin actually hit fifty seven thousand five hundred. So you're actually gonna have to leave again and you can come back, back when it gets to seventy five. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I, I pulled all the strings I could to get it to fifty five. But yeah, the hey, good uh, news I'll is it might only take it, you know, a couple of days. A day, yeah, I know the way it's going. Be back on next week. All right, well look, let's keep it moving. I want to get through the rest of the AKAs and then let's talk some real domain talk. All right. Below me to my right, I got my boy Andrew Rosner, a.k.a. Morpheus, a.k.a. the Dirk Diggler of Digital Assets, a.k.a. Bob Lee Swagger, the Sniper, a.k.a. Drew. Drew got what I need, a.k.a. Never Gonna Give Drew Up, a.k.a. Greybeard, the Domain Pirate, back from the Far East, back from the the plunder, and, uh, you know, just doing what he do. And, uh, yeah, also kind of rolling back with a big old fat bag of fucking Bitcoin popping off. Everything is like, you know, it's like a big old sack of fireworks just uh you know doing 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 things and uh also wearing domain shirt with swag for the first time i think maybe ever yeah on the show. that is official monumental moment first time i've ever worn domain sherpa sh- uh, swag on the domain sherpa show in the 14 years since this thing's been going uh, look at What's that man, 14 see? years i think so i think so we might have to verify that with Siger. I think the first show was 2011. We've been doing yeah. 2000. It might have been. It might have been 2010. I met Siger in Vancouver, 2010. So that's where I met yeah, you. 10. See what happens? No, no. I met you. No, it was in Vancouver. See what happens? Was it? Every, was it Vancouver? Everything. All your successes blossomed from there. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Generations of handsome children. Actually, I will oh. say, actually, I, all of my closest friends. I'm a kingmaker. In the, it, all of my closest friends that I've made in the domain industry, I, I pretty much met them all at that show. That was the first show I ever went to. I went to a. I, we were at a uh, at a bar. I think when when I met you, you were in a suit. Um, yeah, that's right. I was but, in a suit, and I was like, I didn't know anybody. I knew. I literally knew zero people. And, yeah. and I was uh, like, it's obvious this guy doesn't know what he's doing. No, and you were like, <laughs> first, first, off, first, off, first off, I thought you were like fucking Wenny, and uh, you looked like you were 15. And I literally, I'm like, I'm there with my wife. I guess, how old was I? I was, I was 30. And uh, I was like, you looked like the only person who might smoke dope. And so I think that's how I approached you. Yeah. And you were like, yeah. I don't even smoke. And I was like, I was like, I don't even believe you right now. Yeah. No. Yeah. Look at yeah. that. Look at that. Weed, weed is bringing people together even when it's not. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. look at that. Um, all right. Well, look, let me finish the AKs and then we're going to continue to keep it moving. So below me, we got my boy Adam Strong, a.k.a. John Wick, a.k.a. Up and Adam, a.k.a. Tony La Russa, a.k.a. Adam Mantium, a.k.a. Adam Strong to Quite Strong. How's your portfolio, Fokker? A.k.a. Adam, you are only as strong as your weakest back link. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. So no complaint. Well, that's good, man. That's good. So, uh, you know, it's funny. It's probably, I think maybe you and Shane were probably on the last show together. So really it's, it hasn't been that, that long. I think he had one more. No, he was on there. I, I watched him because oh, I was see. trying to see what yeah, his new background looked like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't remember. Yeah, it's like, I just want to know. I just want to know what that is. that's blurred in the background. Um, so, well, all good. All good. Are you getting record warmth up there too, Adam? We're oh, like yeah. 78 today. It's February yeah. in the mid- Midwest, 78. Oh, wow. Yeah, 60, I think. 
No way. A little bit of tease, a little teaser, a little warmth. That's good. Um, um, I came back. I was in, I was at 36 degrees Celsius for two months. That, what is that? That's like hundred degrees, hundred and something, 102 maybe. And, um, I dropped back in. It's like the coldest days of the year in Portugal. I'm literally like my, my fingers (laughs) hurt. My back hurts. Terrible. Yeah, it's it, it's amazing. Um, yeah, it's amazing our weather switching, right? Like tonight it's going to be 28. So it's 78 at, during the day. And I'm talking in Celsius. The evening. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. But that's 50, 50 degrees yeah. change in the day, whatever is still. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. It's yeah there, everybody said when I moved up here, oh, you know, you're moving where it's cold. I mean, we've had like one week of cold two weeks of cold you know, and it just keeps going <laughs> yeah, Antarctic is not even cold anymore yeah yeah a little bit warming baby it is a little bit of climate change a little climate change for that ass you know what i'm saying so good thing um, bitcoin's not taking any energy <laughs> oh, this machine greens this machine <laughs> greens by the way if you've never seen that i i highly recommend oh yeah you. everybody should watch that everybody should watch it'll that. change your whole perspective you know what i'm saying you'll be um it's pretty someday cool. we're going to do uh, 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 an episode where I'm just going to explain my whole thesis about what Bitcoin is, because it's very different than any other narrative that I've heard out there. You haven't done that already? No, yeah. never done. Can't we? Can't that. we just piece all your talks together and just make one? You don't even have to say yeah, it. No, I think you, no, use that no. AI I can do I, that. I actually think no. I think that I've actually only explicitly explained my thesis on Bitcoin to probably less than ten people. So what a monumental day it could be. The day he wears his domain Sherpa sweatshirt and we found out how what Bitcoin really is. That's what it awesome. is. But, I don't think he's no, I'm not saying that what I think us. it is is what it is, although I would argue that scientifically speaking, my what how I would describe Bitcoin actually is factually what it is. But neither here nor there for the moment. Yep. Satoshi in our yeah. presence. All yeah, good. So. All good. Um, all right. So, um, <laughs> all right, well, that. let's get into the domain game. If you guys are and down, let's do it. Yeah, that was, that was good. It's a good segue. You know, it's a little teasers. At some point, you guys will learn the truth about Bitcoin and what Drew thinks. <laughs> um, as if you don't hear it all the time, every time. Um, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I don't even think you, you, you don't have the patience to freaking listen. And even I, if I dude, told you, you wouldn't listen it anyways. Every, every day. He, he's I, right, he's I right. guarantee you, I guarantee you, you have, okay, okay, I will give you $1,000, literally right now in Bitcoin, I will give you $1,000 in Bitcoin if you can tell me right now what it is that, what is my thesis on Bitcoin? What do I believe Bitcoin is? Oh man. Oh no, this is going to fail this quiz. I can make real money. Um, what is my, you know, we're going to end up cutting money. this anyway. Cause I don't, cause this is, I'm going to stumble all over this, but, um, what you believe it to be, I mean, well, I mean, the, the, the future of money and no, no, no. Okay. You, you already lost. You already lost. Forget it. Forget about it. <laughs> well, so what's your, so give it to us in like two sentences then. So I at least can, so there's no way to give it to you in two sentences yeah. and have it. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you can do it in two sentences. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, no. But it, I do it's know the lowest common denominator. That Bitcoin is the lowest common denominator. Is it based on an energy thing, or is it? Um, yep. It's based on energy. Yeah. It's based entirely on energy. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so you know, it's pretty heady stuff, man. I'm looking for look, I'll be tuned in. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready because so that's why that's why, despite my enthusiasm, I'm not going to burden you with that right now because it is heavy shit. It, it's a lot, it's it's a very you're not ready, big shit. Yeah, you're not, no, not ready to I can't handle you can't handle the truth. You can't, you can't plug you can't in handle the truth yet, buddy. Yeah, you gotta yeah. train to train. That's what my coach says. You gotta yeah. get the training so you can start training. Yeah, no, hundred percent. Right. Anyway, now, hey, look, I just learned that lesson today. My first day back after two months of zero exercise. Oh man, she broke my ass. Woof. 
<laughs> well, look, yeah. you know, um, now I don't know really what happened. Edit going, yeah, edit it all. Edit it all. <laughs> let, let, let's just get into the domain game. No, no hey, I do, on, believe, right, don't I do believe in your fundamental thesis of the importance of Bitcoin and, you know, number go up, like, you know, not just because it's like I, number I, go up. Yeah, but, it's actually nothing to do with number go up. It, no, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's symptom. what I'm saying. It isn't about number that, goes right? up. It's just a, it's a symptom of the importance of it. And I do understand, I do understand that. And I do believe in that as well. And I think that for me, it's almost more of a fiat thing. You know, when you look across the globe and you just see the devaluing of currency across the planet, like, um, and yeah, when you talk about store value and digital gold and all that kind of stuff, I mean, that, that's the piece to me. That's so, just, but that's it, the thing. So that, that, that's all exciting and that's all interesting, but that's what everybody knows. That's what everybody, that's the story everybody knows. That's the story everybody assigns to it. But Bitcoin is so much more than that in so many complex ways. Uh, it, it's literally the lowest common denominator. It's literally the way that we will measure everything on our planet. It's the only thing that can incorporate the total, total value of all inputs into our fucking everything, not just economy, but our society, our everything. All of the resources that are available on this planet can literally be the denominator of the equation and everything else yeah. uh, is and, uh, divided by 21 million, right? So, well, and I think that's it, well, allow, I mean, it allows you to basically measure all the externalities that are currently not measured. And then you can basically trace every single problem in human society to the inability to the inability or the unwillingness to internalize externalities and external resources and costs that are being overlooked extrapolated you know no and i think that's great and i think that's why you everybody should really watch this machine greens because yeah. it does really touch on some of those 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 elements and i think that's a it does a, and that would be a great primer to then set up the show where we really dive in. I love that. So, all right, that's it. Y'all right, tune let's in. Let's go. Speaking of upcoming shows, though, hey, we, so we got this show this week. Next week, the show that we're doing is also going to be a very good one. It's going to be more of a rabbit hole where we're bringing on uh, Mike White and uh, from uh, from Newfold, Snap Names, Namejet, and Matt Overman, and we are going to get busy talking about the domain aftermarket and really get under the hood. Uh, cause there are still plenty of people who don't even understand how some of that basic stuff works. So I'm excited about that one as well. So just to plug a little bit about what we've got coming up here on domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Speaking of domains, let's actually talk about them today, starting with the domain game. And, uh, so Shane, do you have a buy sell that you want to talk about that you can talk about? Or do you want to pull a name? From yeah, Fox no, I, I, uh, I'm more active now buying. So I'm, Although I'm participating in closeouts for the first time, I normally hadn't done too much of that area, and it's it's a uh, it's a dicey game because there's a lot of shit that flows through that. But <laughs> I bought one, uh, uh, but I did buy a name that I really like. It's bringyourdog.com. Okay. Bringyourdog.com. Bringyourdog.com. As a man that tries to find, I'm one of those guys now that has my uh, lab, and I'm I email every hotel. Can I bring my lab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like it. Uh, For a slight fee of $150 non-refundable. Well, always. Uh, yeah. Um, it reminds me also of like Bring a Trailer, you know, which is... uh Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My favorite. For any of you car enthusiasts. Uh, oh, yeah. My <laughs> phone Bring guy. a Trailer is the best. I have to do my this. Phone is... All right. Right there. Technical difficulties. Bring your dog. See? Is your phone dead? Yeah. Uh, it's all right, though. While you guys are thinking, I'll tell you, I was running this morning with my phone, and my phone fell out of my pocket. And the only reason I knew it is because my podcast went dead. <laughs> and I was trying to look up. My phone had dropped about, I'll tell you, the Bluetooth is good for about 300 yards. Ah! I found it. I just kept listening for the podcast to come back in. As soon as I heard Bradley Cooper, I knew I was close. Yeah, I like it. Um, all right, here we go. I think I got it. I had to plug it in. All right, so everybody put the number in and. Um, okay, so. Bringyourdog.com. All right, ready when y'all are? Hold on. 
Three, two, he one. Deep end zeros, brother. Okay. All right, so I've got 199. Drew has 385. And I got sandwiched. 499. I got sandwiched. 735 is what I paid oh, for. Adam with oh, Adam. Nice job, dude. Way to go. So I like it. All right, so Adam with the win. All right, uh, was it a GoDaddy closeout that you got it? It, w- it was an auction. It wasn't a closeout. It went past. Yeah, see, yeah. see, this is the problem. You threw me off because I literally was going to put something like $750. And then you're like, oh yeah, I'm messing around in those closeouts. So I'm like, oh, well, maybe it's no, like, I shouldn't. You know, yeah, that was a bit, two, yeah. three hundred. <laughs> well, closeouts no. are yeah. Like I mean, fifty right. bucks. Well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, exactly. I know, but I just, I guess what I meant was like kind of the low end, like auction stuff, like a name that yeah, you know. Well, well it is, is, but that's just the sad part is low ends are now under a thousand. Like everything. Yeah, that's I can crazy. tell you this. I'll give you some information for uh the audience so talking to people with tens of thousands hundreds of thousands and even well i won't say anymore but yet lots and lots of names the average price of acquisition is 380 to 450 dollars and that includes buying larger names and closeouts and combining them so that's that's the average price that if you're adding thousands of domains a year uh, to your portfolio, yeah. that's about what it's going to cost. And when you're trying to figure and, out and, what it costs you, if go ahead. And that's why GoDaddy, when they went out and bought it, did all those acquisitions, you know, the rumored price per name was around $250, right? Or $255 yeah. or something like that. Uh, I, I don't have any inside they, they know information. That, that was, that was, those, those were rumors, the rumor of what the per, per, per domain price was. So, um, uh, that makes sense, right? That's a nice, nice margin. Yeah. I mean, I was trying to compare, like, since I've started, I've added a couple hundred names and I could see that number kind of in that $400 range. So I started talking to people with lots and they said, yeah, that extrapolates pretty much across the board. It's gone up 10% a year. You can, you can watch it. It's real numbers and everybody's pretty close to the same. If that's the type of domain portfolio you're building, right? Some people yeah. only buy high end names. So that doesn't, but people that are buying everything that rolls through expired auctions, yeah. that's what you're looking at. So I, if you want to add yeah. a thousand, I names, wish my average, you, I wish my average, yeah, I wish my average purchase price yeah. was $400, oh, yeah, well, but it's pretty, definitely yeah. not. All good though. Yeah. Well, right. the well, the key is what's the average sale price. That's the other thing. The other side, and it does tend to be ten x. It tends yeah. to be about thirty eight, four thousand dollars. So yeah. that's that's the numbers. Yep. There we go. All right. Well, good stuff, man. I like it. Bringyourdog dot com, and uh, you're right. A lot of you know pet travel and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I end up having to have Billy come to my house to watch my dogs when we go away, and. uh you know, it's uh yeah, I wish I'd invested in Rover. Rover is absolutely destroying it. Like Rover R- you know Rover what? and um, Chewy are probably two of the best companies going. It's interesting because Rover is based in Seattle. So a handful of the folks that were at Enom, you know, right side around that time went to go work uh the follow a bunch of the finance folks ended up working at Rover and that was where they ended up um, you know, so but yeah, it's uh, you know, meeting a need. Big, All good. big business. All right, so COVID, Adam with COVID, the point. Baby. Let's keep it moving. Drew, what you got? You got a buy or a sell? Something hopefully I don't know about so that I can actually get uh, Yeah, I haven't been doing a lot of buying just because I've been traveling. Uh, but let's go with... Hmm. Uh, hold on. I had some. You can go to Adam. Like, oh, here it is. All right, let's go with yourbit.com. Yourbit. Yourbit.com. Yourbit.com. Hmm. What was it? Did you buy it or sell it? Buy it. Buy it. All right, this was a All buy. Right. Yeah. All right. Um, yourbit.com All right. All right. Let me know when y'all are ready. Yeah, yeah good. Right, flip, flip it. All right. 
Ooh, I got twenty one hundred. Shane has twenty uh, two thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, and Adam has seventy five hundred dollars. Wow, it's not often that you guys all overestimate what I paid. Usually, I'm I pay more than you guys all estimate, but uh, in this case, I got it for twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, that means I win, or no? Nice. You were below. Did I win? No, I think you. I think you were the lowest. Two thousand. You were the lowest. Yeah, because I was yeah. twenty seven fifty. Yeah. You're a winner. Damn. Yeah, without without going over. Yeah, right. The, yeah. the price is yeah. the right rules. Um, um, all right. And uh, so obviously we're talking. And I, I thought that was a steal. Like, yeah, your bit. Like, I mean, you've got so many exchanges and things that are called something bit. You know, like, I, th- I don't know. Your bit for 1200 bucks in a GoDaddy auction. I was like, I like literally looked at it like 25 times. Like, what am I missing here? Like. It's just like some... wait till you find out you just bought a sandwich domain, your BLT. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your bit, but the, it's not an I, it's a one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, these right here, these have cost me like a thousand dollars a year from not using them. Oh dude. Oh. Um, all right, cool. Well, <laughs> you're on the meeting too, right? But it was it was uh that was an event. I'm pretty happy. I got to no, buy solid favorite was... solid buy. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, um, Adam, what about you, man? What you got? Was Bit.com got a... yours, Adam? Yeah, that's why I overshot. I was thinking that you knew <laughs> something that I knew. You had kind Bit.com? Of. Yeah, Adam had all of it. Adam had the whole kit and caboodle. Adam was a roller right. back in the early the nobody, first crap. Nobody even knows. Like, when, when people, for me, people even knew what Bitcoin was. Adam was all up in that ass. No, people knew that. It was like Bitcoin was at like fifteen grand, maybe ten grand. Yeah. No, it was below that. When you at when you BTC. originally, yeah, yeah, exactly. That was BTC. You had yeah, BTC.com. Exactly. It, it was about it was about ten. You had, had BTC.com. It was below that. It was like let's see. It was um, I remember Dude, that. it was two thousand fourteen. Fifteen. Mm. It was thirteen, fourteen, or fifteen. No, it wasn't. 15. I don't know. Fourteen, probably. So wait. So you yeah. had btc.com com. And as well. and yeah, yeah. That's why I said he had he had everything. He had Do you still have those, or have you long sold them, or what? No, he sold. No, he sold them. I broke. And him. I tried. I tried to convince him that he should take whatever proceeds he gets in Bitcoin, and he absolutely refused. Yeah. He wasn't Dude, ready. At the t- he at the time ready. Yeah, at the time I wasn't ready. At the time people were losing and losing money and having Bitcoin stolen from them. No, they yeah. were losing money in all this shit coinery. In all this no, 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 no. stupidity. No, 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 no. She's shit talking coinery. about like Mal Mal Gox. Mal and that kind Gox, of thing. remember? Mal Gox. Also talking yeah, about no, no, but no, no, hold up. Mal Gox about, was much there, earlier. There were no exchanges. There was no way to actually People didn't even know how to get the money. I didn't know how to get the money out. Coinbase was just starting. You it, had... it didn't even exist. It was that local. Yeah, thing. it was starting. What was the what was the local thing that you can like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was uh, uh, local bitcoins. Yeah, that local was about bitcoins. the only way you could get any cash. Yeah. And the and the volume, dude. I talked to some people that were, you know, the people that I talked to, and they were like, at, at the volume you're talking about, um, in terms of, uh numbers you are if you decide to pull all that out you're going to make a significant impact in transactions for bitcoin for the day or whatever wow but so the whole point is that's my point is like yes back then yes but you'd be silly to sell today Uh, i've i've looked back at the numbers and yeah it's life-changing had i done that but i wouldn't have stuck with it so yeah but let's just pretend for a good story are we at nine figures if you would have kept it? I don't, today, I don't know. Well, yeah. I mean, if it's... Yeah, the, at 55,000. I'm saying... Yes. You've got a calculator from the last game. You can use it. Yeah, I don't, I don't do public <laughs> math. No public math, even yeah, with a yeah. calculator. <laughs> yeah. No, look, I don't want to pin you down on any... Hey, but well, let's, let's no, talk if about the past that. is the let's past, do, let's, but it's still fun. Let's talk, about, let's talk about the call that we had where we were talking about BTC because I can remember where I was. And then the call maybe what, two years later about NFT.com. Yeah. Yeah. Same call, right? Yeah. 
Same call. It's like, Same what call. do I do? What do I do? It's a good number. Is this thing going to be around forever? Yeah. So, yeah. No regrets. Well, to his credit, we were God, no regrets. Then. No, no, no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Let's <laughs> get it. <laughs> my, my old, I literally, I, I, I really mean it. The only regret, the only really true regret I have is selling mushrooms.com. I really never should have sold that name. Buy it back. Can't. Yeah. You have enough Not for sale. Ever not for sale, dude. Well, yeah, but it's in good hands, and 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 you know, so it's okay. But I, well, I, if it makes I, you I, feel I, any better. I've told your stories to family members, and they love it. I mean, I've made up numbers and shit because I don't really know them, but they still love the stories. <laughs> Absolutely. Like, did I ever tell you my yeah. friend that used to own BTC, and he 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 would have three trillion dollars if he would have. Yeah, he's basically the dude that bought the pizza. He's like the he bought the pizza with. Yeah, pizza. exactly. That he's that guy. I don't want to ruin a good story with facts, but it is fun. Nah, I hey, mean, man, look, yeah, we I touched a lot it, of good it, shit. When I sold Solana dot com, did he wanted to pay me in those tokens? I said no, and that that uh, that those tokens, if I had held, and like Adam said, I wouldn't have held everything. Uh, but if I had held from the exact price he would have paid me, if I held. Until I literally met him face to face here in Lisbon at the the big Solana meetup, you know thing, uh, and we sat down on the sofa to calculate how much it would have been worth. From that moment in time, from oh. time I sold it to to then, I would have made one point nine billion dollars. <laughs> That's it. <Dude>. Yeah. <laughs> one point nine billion dollars. Oh, that is so great. I mean, think about the, but, you know, talk you about moving, talk about, but talking about moving in the market. If I try to sell one point nine billion dollars of Solana, like, yeah. the market would shit. Yeah, the market would lose half. Every time you move something, you get the alert on Twitter that says whale transaction. You know, those, yeah. I don't know if you ever get those. I watch, but we're talking like think about this. We're talking metaverse, NFT, BTC, BIT, Solana dot com. That just shows you what an a place in web three that uh domainers are right we're the doorway to what they're doing uh on a lot of these things it's amazing if you think about it just not just you two just you two have touched yeah. those names so uh, it's amazing oh and that's just the tip of the iceberg oh uh, well, that's, that's why, hey, public when, stuff that's why when i say i'm like these are the ogs we're the experts and all this kind of stuff it's like i mean you guys literally are the fucking ogs you got the war stories and the yeah, look scars. at these dudes he looks like he Look at this guy. He looks like he bags groceries. <laughs> I look like he bags groceries. It's, can we talk about Shane? That's not nice. <laughs> you. <laughs> That's right. You. I was going to ask you, do you want me to double bag the Diet Coke, sir? <laughs> Why are you saying he looks like he bags groceries? Because he's wearing a Domain Sherpa hoodie? No, man? he's talking about himself. No, I'm just, no, I'm joking. We all look like we bag groceries. Put some groceries. respect on the hoodie. And Put fresh. some respect on the hoodie. I'm just kidding. But it is, it is remarkable. It, it truly is. Domain names really are the touch point for everything. And there's a small group of people uh, that have just owned or brokered all of just these incredible domain names that have spawned giants and industries. And it's, it is, it is amazing when you think back uh, at, you know, how far the tentacles of the domain industry reach. Uh but yeah, Adam is straight OG gangs. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, we say well, it. I just, mean, we, we say all roads lead to like, Would you like one bag or two? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all roads lead to domains. That shit is for real, you know? So anyway, um, but yes. So um, I don't know. Anyway, are we done with the domain? No, Adam, you still have to put up a name on the domain yeah. name. Uh, let's go BTC. flex on them. Flex on them. No. <laughs> exactly. Uh, 1.9 gray, trillion. Gray, G-R-A-Y, gray digital dot com. Okay. Gray digital. Gray digital. Ooh, wow. Was it a but buy or a sell? A-Y. Buy or a sell? A-Y. Everybody knows uh, A-Y is more sell. valuable than E-Y. Is it? And this well, was except that, what's except, the difference except between, that the largest the, agency in the world, you know, marketing agency is gray, isn't it? With the with the EY. 
What's grayscale? <laughs> Except it's spelled different. <laughs> what's what's the difference between E Y and A Y? I'm gonna say I don't know. If, is it a British thing? If it's the country be, has was, an was, E, in, if the country it has the an guy, E in it, <laughs> it was the guy that wrote the name down on Ellis Island. Um, is there a reason for an E versus an A though? I don't know. I I think it's a uh, it's a Earl uh, Grey like a T thing. is is E Y. Mm-hmm. The color can be both. No, or am I? What, what's the and appropriate I'm sure American version of the color? I'm sure we're. G R A Y is. Can somebody the, ask ChatGPT? Can we get a ChatGPT agent have, on the Domain Sherpa show? Well, that would be pretty cool. You know how, like, you know how, robot. you know how, like, um, the astronaut. You know we should how, have like, the astronauts sitting there spitting no, out like, ChatGPT Ro- facts. No, like Rogan has Jamie, right? Like mm. we should have, like we should have Mo. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mo. <laughs> Yo, hey, Mo. So yeah, the A Y media options. Hold on. A-Y is more frequent in American English. E-Y is more common in British English. Um, and uh, and that uh, extends to specialized terms such as animal species. I mean, well, you know, anyway, there's... Um, right. yeah, yeah, animal that, species are the E or the, y or the, or the A? No, they actually say, e. boy, you got... I think it's both. I think it literally just depends on if it's American or British English, like, is really as to where and what they say one of the uh gray hound is an exception which has a different derivation than the color i don't know I, I don't really know. i don't know what that means that's on miriam webster's site it's a little confusing i'm also a little under the weather so you know reading is a little bit tricky today so but yeah i don't know what it, you don't know what it means but it's provocative all right let's go come on move on let's go so <laughs> gray, right, gray, gray, what is it, gray digital gray digital gray digital Sell, yeah, sell, digital, sell more to more. Sell. All right, I'm with right. you. What you Ready got? Digital. Hold on. You ready? Yep. Ready, set, flip. Flip it. All right. So Shan's at get it, get it. I'm at seventy four, uh, seven thousand four hundred ninety nine, and, and Drew's at twenty four thousand eight hundred ninety five dollars. All get right, it. Adam. Drew knows what's up. Oh, Drew knows what's up. Get it. <laughs> um. All right. 20, 20, 20, 20. boom. Oh uh, yeah. All right. So, so wait, I, Adam, now you got to wait. Now we all have a point or something or who, yeah, who yeah, doesn't yeah. have a point. Shane, Shane doesn't, I he's going to have to come up with something. The new guy. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Shane, uh, Gray's anatomy is with wait, the don't, EY, we, don't, don't, don't we give senior citizens like a, a bonus point, complimentary point. We right. all, yeah. I get the over 55 point. I come in with a point. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'll put Adam over the top. You get the handicap. Your handicap, yeah. Your handicap. Yeah, your handicap. You wait until peak. I come in with my long ponytail and flowing lock. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, you're probably biologically younger than I am. That's um, maybe. No, I don't feel it today, but maybe. <laughs> For a while. So you get back in shape. Yeah, I need to get back in shape. Today was my first day back. Uh, I did a half marathon was... on Sunday, and I can't walk today. So, <laughs> um, oh man! Right, well, so Gray Digital, talk, how long do you have it? Like, was, that's got to be something you probably grabbed in the drop oh, back man. in the day, right? Yeah, I have no idea. Didn't right. even look. Sorry, no, it was I... free. What was it? A, was it a negotiation or a buy it now? Um, it was a, I got an offer, um, from a certain, uh, entity that likes to take things out of context yeah. and, and, uh, they couldn't close the deal. So, um, we closed you know, the that, deal. That actually uh, reminds me of something that I probably want, that I also want to kind of clarify. You know, we talked about on the show. Speaking of out of context, you know, so take it, we take it from here. We're talking about, we're talking about the, 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 the bottom, you know, 20, 30% of the inventory. We're talking about the names that we're selling for $2,500, which I think we've eliminated that whole category. I think everything is either $5,000 or delete. So, uh, Everything from five thousand to twenty five thousand. That's the sweet spot, you know. But you know, for twenty five hundred to twenty five thousand, that's the sweet spot. And on that stuff, my interpretation 
of why the GoDaddy landers seem to outperform is simply because it is impulsive purchasing. And so somebody comes in impulsive and they say, okay, it's a price within my comfort zone. They hit it with a credit card, they buy it, you know, it's this trusted brand and, and they close it. But that has nothing to do with high value domains. That has nothing to do with somebody who wants to spend 50 grand, 100 grand, hundreds of grand, or millions of dollars. These types of domains require human contact. They require education. They require creativity. They require deal making skills. Um, so while uh, uh, I do credit GoDaddy with you know building a brand that consumers seem to trust, and uh, uh, it is factually true that our uh, 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 what do you call it sell through rate uh, increased materially by moving those small names to GoDaddy landers. Uh, that is factually true. Uh, it has absolutely zero bearing on the bigger names. And I would argue to push back on GoDaddy a little bit because they took advantage of taking that little clip out of context and let it run like wildfire. But I will, you know, hat tip to Paul because that was a smooth move. But that being said, I'm going to push back on the broker team who I would say is actually quite, you know, not great at closing bigger names. Um, I just don't think, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I'm not privy to the conversations that they're having. So I, I don't know what the issue is, but my experience has been less than stellar on the, on the bigger names. Um, just because I think it needs more human touch and that has to be educated, really, you know, skillful touch. Um, but on the, on the, on the smaller price names where it's not really a negotiation, it's a, it's a compulsive purchase. It's a buy it now. Uh, I think across the board, I think you can, you know, you can see it. It's like buy it now pricing increases, conversion rates, you know, having a trusted lander at a credit card ability to purchase with a credit card increases, you know, sell through rates. But that is again, that's that small names, names that can be purchased with a credit card, which probably is up to like, let's say 10 grand. But you know, I, yeah, I always yeah. say the 20, 2,500 to, to 25,000. Well, so, yeah. And anyways, I that's just a kind of, clarification. Yeah. And this is not to poo poo go daddy. No, you know, no, no. What what Paul said is factually true. It's just that it was taken out of context in that we are talking about that that small segment of domains, not all domains. Certainly not the type of domains that we broker. Yeah, and I think that's a great point. Um, and you know, worth clarifying for sure. And look, credit for them for taking what you said and you know promoting it because it was good for their business. And I think there are points in there that are valuable, and worth saying, and worth knowing. The um, and it's like you said, you know, because when people go to GoDaddy to get a domain name, they just want to you know register it, buy it, whatever it is. It's they, it's a quick process. Boom, now they've got it in their account, and they're very, very good at that. And that's like for us, yes. what we have found is they serve that purpose very, very well. Once you have to start getting yep. into negotiations around names, it can get a little bit dicey when, you know, you're relying on folks that, you know, uh, aren't the most seasoned. But, yeah. No, and, and it's also just always, it's not always clear. Who do you represent? Right. I, I, I feel like I'm your customer, yeah. right? I have my domains with you. I've been a loyal customer for many, many years. You know, we do a lot of business together. We brokered millions of dollars in domain names for GoDaddy. Uh, we have sold millions of dollars in domain names through GoDaddy of our own domains, right? There seems to be a strong relationship that I would consider myself to be the customer. And so when a rando comes in and wants to buy a name from their customer, I would assume uh, in a vacuum that they represent my interest. But that isn't necessarily the case and doesn't appear to be the case. Um and so, uh, you know, I, I, I think that there's just, I, I, I don't know. I just, I think there's friction around the process on bigger names, but yeah. they have basically eliminated all the friction on buying smaller names. Yeah. Which I think is great. And it's yeah, awesome. The, so, other, yeah. the other thing I'll throw in there is we're very fortunate to share the same, uh, service representative, uh, in Aaron. Aaron does. Oh, Aaron Johnson Aaron's, does an amazing job. Oh, Aaron he's, is he's an Aaron's a rock star, hundred percent. He's a rock star. 
Yeah, and, he, and, and that process. And of, he he knows right. he knows there's ways to improve, and you know, but his hands are tied. Uh, but Aaron does get it done. Aaron's Aaron's very he's on Aaron our team. Johnson, right. Let's go, boy. What up, man? Yeah, yeah. he's on he our team. That. When something comes through, and he's oh, working yeah. with you, you know that he's always taking our approach first, and then approaching the other side. And that's yeah. that's comforting AXJ, knowing that, that he's not gonna. Yeah, pardon me, AXJ. AXJ. Yeah. 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 And he, uh, and, and again, like, so I needed to move everything up by 15%, right? And st- I, it would have taken me forever to go through, or I'd have put a spreadsheet and loaded it up and jacked everything up and made something the wrong price and it gotten sniped. He takes care of it. He's like, you know, he, he, he makes that where well, you just talked about frictionless, the frictions on the other side, you got to price your names. Like in order to set up that easy frictionless thing, you have to go and get your names ready to roll. And he makes that easier. And that's, that's just as important to me as being able to have that pathway is to have someone help me get it on the pathway. So kudos big, big to shout Aaron out, big shout time. out to Aaron Johnson and AKA AXJ AKA and big yeah. shout out to Mark Becker as well. I mean, if we're like calling out people who are you absolutely, know, who are big helps over there. I mean, I think that's yeah. the important thing. That's the thing I think about I know, GoDaddy. Look, that, I mean, I was, this, GoDaddy has great people. Like, yeah. uh, uh, so many, so many great people. I'm not going to start naming names because then you're going to start people saying, oh, you name uh, I didn't get names. So I'm going to just leave. I'm going to just... Like, it's like album credits back in the day. Remember, like, yeah, yeah. thank it. You know, you have this... But, but yeah. Great people, but it's a big organization. And, yeah, they're, they're uh, steering the Titanic of two things. This is the problem. There's well, there's competing interests, you know, from from within the bid different business units, and um, you know, one hand doesn't always talk to the other, and but I, and, specifically, hey. this was not a poo poo GoDaddy session. This was just, no, just trying to clarify uh, a viral tweet that uh, was taken a bit out of context. Um, it I, know, like I, think I, it's imp- like I think it's ne- kneeling on my sword or something. It is like no. No, yeah, like you, um, y'all, y'all are y'all, y'all, hundred percent hats off. Y'all got that lower end of the domain market, but you do not yeah. even come close on the top end. I mean, that's what it is. And certain people have their certain skills. Let's keep it moving, though. Um, all right, so we've got a three-way tie, Shane. We're gonna need you to pull a name out of somewhere and put it up here for us to 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 crown a king. Uh, in on today's well, episode you know i can always go to the dsad um every day we put yesterday's domain sales of all the auctions what adam right. used to do so let me go get you a name off all right drew don't be uh, i mean the minute you said it drew's like dsad.com click no no i'm not no, no. Shit. i am not find ways to do that Look, not that I would bring this up, look, but... look at my track record. If I was cheating, I'd win sometimes. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Jeez, Jeez. All these names are not um, like the Joy of Museum sold for forty thousand dollars, but that's not... oh, did it really? <laughs> Man, isn't that crazy? The the backlinks are almost just as as uh, uh, valuable as the domains themselves nowadays. They're just going for tens of thousands me... adam you're only okay, as strong on. as your weakest you. backlink baby you know what i'm saying that's why i said that's why it's in the aks okay here's a good one i don't think you guys were participating zho.com Ooh, zho.com all right post it up quick Sold on the 22nd oh. so it's a recent sale all right no looking just put it in the thing and let's just zho all right all right, zho.com. What was the venue that helps? Uh, are you, is it a name jet or a expired oh. auction? It, that's it's an eight. expired yeah. auction. I'll do that. Okay. That's what you yeah, it's got, it's only it's only, it could be an end user. could be, you know, it's like. Right, all right. right. Yeah. All right, it's here we go. end user is obviously more, but let's go. Yeah. All right, flip it. All right. All right. Ooh, okay. Drew's at 18765 Adam's at 45000 I'm at $69,999. Drew took it easily. It sold for $18,200. Oh, really? What? Oh, that's... Dude, uh, listen. Three-letter.com to have mediocre or shit letters, 
Dude, they went all the way down to 12,000. Like, Le, yeah, so, Le, so on February 20th, isn't, isn't, isn't this a Chinese thing or something? I thought like, that was, I mean, a, just, yeah, I thought that was straight up like, like last I, time. Like, they, that's not, yeah, they, they like Z, but not O. Or so you, listen to this. Zoe is a true. Chinese name. V, V's and vowels, the right? Same V's and day, vowels, but. The same day, RQU sold for 11.2 and EFQ yeah. sold for 12.7. They're getting that's wow. what I'm saying. Good. It went down. To, it went down to twelve, but that was the floor. It basically, hit that twelve. It was there for a week, that's, and now it's now it's that's two 14, days ago. Fifteen. Oh wow, really? Okay, that was wow, two days huh. ago. That was on the twenty. Yeah. Look, I mean, yeah, was, I don't like giving you know financial advice, but I, to me, I was buying three letter dot coms in two thousand ten for eight to ten thousand dollars. So yeah, uh, you know. That feel, you know, I, I, I'm not telling you ZHO is a banger, but, you know, if you can do the due diligence and you look around and you, you know, these aren't stolen names and you can, you know, you can find that there's like commercial use. I love a three letter.com, man. They, 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 you know, there's, I, to me, that's just like buying a brick of gold or like buying a diamond or it's just like, oh, okay, you know, I bought Put that in the same. Yeah, I don't see those going. It'll much be worth cheaper more in the future. Scale. Like I don't see that number falling. Yeah, like exactly. You have very your your your, your downside on that is like twenty percent. Yeah, yeah. There's that's. I think in, we're gonna look back on that eleven thousand dollar buy and be okay with it. I think they're gonna be fine. Yeah, and liquidity is always there. Like that's the other thing. It's liquidity is always available for three letters. Totally, totally. Totally. Yeah, I got yeah, it. I'm pretty surprised. I thought that would have gone for higher. But um, you know, I I guess it's funny. I don't look at that as a floor, as a floor three letter. You know, the ZHO. I kind of look at it as, and I get it no. with Chinese, especially you know vowels and V's. But you know, it's almost like a name. You know, so and um, it's pronounced. And O is also organization. Z's get a little funky, right? Like, but you know, uh, but it's in the beginning. If you have the Q's and the Z's in the first couple letters, not the end. If it's at the end, it gets real difficult. Like Q's yeah. at the end, that's a tough ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I don't think O as an ending is that. For an acronym. Bad, so. Unless it's IQ. Huh. I've got a bunch of those and they sell well. I, oh, yeah. yeah, we does. I've told that story. They sell well or they undersell under well too. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, there's right, a story well, behind yeah. that too. Well, yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. We're not going to tell that story. That just, that's just <laughs> that's that. the name that we should have sold talk for about, more. We sold it for. Talk, talk about regrets. Yeah, regrets. No regrets. regrets. That's going to be today's show. No yeah. regrets. All right. Um. Hey, look. Great job in the domain game. Congratulations to Drew for winning. That does rarely happens. He came back from the far east. Immediately steps in the <laughs> room and wins the domain game. Congratulations to him. Media Options is the industry's leading domain broker specializing in domain acquisitions, high-value domain sales, and domain name consultation. As pioneers and thought leaders on the subject of the domain aftermarket and domain name value, plus through their clear domain acquisition service, Media Options offers startups and established corporations an unparalleled scope of high-value domain options, providing access to domain names and curation technologies not available elsewhere. Media Options believes in the power of a great domain name and is dedicated to helping you obtain yours. Call or email today to put a domain to work for you. All right, let's slide into the Name Jack in a Jet segment. This is uh, sponsored by Name Jet, where we review a list of domains coming up for auction. Um, and uh, if you go onto the, the, the Domain Sherpa site, you can pull the spreadsheet where it has the links, the estimate values, take those with a grain of salt, and how many back orders as of the time that we uh, recorded the show, when you need to put your back order in in order to participate. Although now it looks like most of them are pretty are public all the way through, as long as there are multiple bidders. Um, and, uh, you know, along with some other data as well. I think domain Sherpa needs to, at least like at a, at a minimum, if they're not going to sponsor, I feel like the main, I feel like they need to give us like a free domain IQ account at a minimum. Like, you know what I mean? Like our, our, our domain IQ, our Estabot, those should be free. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. hey, man, give I'm a you, weekly man. shout out, we weekly got... shout out guys. Come on. You should even sponsor the show. Come make, on. We can make that happen. Yeah, we just gotta, you know, it's just gotta put in a call, you know. I like it. I like the idea. Are you talking about names yet? 
Who are you talking about? No, no he's not talking about DP. We're he's talking, talking about, about like Escobar and everybody else that we can do. I guess, I guess. I guess. We'll we'll pull pull see, it's a matter of prince. It's a matter of principle. You know, I'm an old school guy. Principles matter. Yeah, hey man, I'm with it. Weekly shout so, outs. You know? So, but anyway, look, we've got the uh, the list of names, and uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. And it also looks like the Name Jet site recently got a little a uh, little bit of a facelift. It looks good. Um, so, but when we get Mike on here next week, we can ask him about it. I mean, not a ton, but I. Feel Yo, what's like- up with uh, uh, Name Bright? Y'all see, like, like Name Bright looks like uh, uh, looks like Airtable now. I have not seen. Hmm. I didn't notice a difference. The back- I, I just the back- drop I, catch. No, name bright. When I logged in to the back end yesterday to my account, it was like a spreadsheet instead of like the, you know, the old user interface. That's interesting. It was like, a, it looked like a database unless I'm creating my tripping. I don't want to talk out of turn here, but pretty sure. Being on secure uh, networks down there and, uh, <laughs> Did you have your eSIM in there? Your SIM, your new SIM card? I couldn't even figure out how to use the eSIM. Yeah, I, I, every time oh, I, uh, I go to it, that, I'll get a new SIM card. It, it, man, for like twenty dollars, yeah, it looks like look at, look at, it looks like it looks like a Google spreadsheet or something, like a Google Doc, instead of like the old user interface. That is interesting, but hey, how about, my how about matters. but how about instead it's of going down that little rabbit hole, is now faster and easier to use. Well, it's kind of big industry news. Name the you know major registrar. It's the back end. Of, if you buy names on Dropcatch, your name go to oh, name yeah. right. Big shout out to Jeff and you know and on and all of them. You know, I I, I like it. The yeah. Reverie Bro Bros. Uh, you know, I I I, I'm I, not, a, I say Reberry. I gotta ask him. I got you say Reberry. I say Reberry. I gotta ask him. Like, what does it? Do look, you guys, what? What do y'all say? Redberry, blueberry. You know what I mean? <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Adam Frankenberry. I just call him Jeff. I just say, hey <laughs> Jeff. <Yeah. laughs> I know, but it's, all right. Uh, hey, you, listen. But now I need doesn't look any different on my end. I'm I'm just saying. It's Are you serious? No different. Yeah, same. What? Yeah, it looks the same. I don't want to do a screen um, share. Now I have to go. Yeah. Be sure for my See, now, now here we are. We're, you know, guys, we're I can an assure you, it looks segment. very, very different. Like, totally, completely different. No, I just like Right at the top, though, it says, it's here, redesigned and re-engineered. Namebrite is now faster and now easier faster to use. Faster and easier to use, yeah. I like that. I oh, appreciate click, hearing from you. Mine says click here to try the beta, uh, so... You're just you're just the guinea pig testing out their beta. Oh yeah, they just mm. pushed you. Oh look at that! Now I see it. Yeah, their site looks sharp. Kind of looks like our site. You know, so our new site looks good. I like it. Um, yeah, this is oh, cool. you know what though? Shout out the ability to have 500 rows. I hate having to go through pages. <laughs> I like their new site. Their new site's clean. They've always yeah. been they they've always allowed downloads too, which is key, I think. Yep. 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 They are they are a very user oriented registrar. Well, their domainers at heart, buddy. They yep. have to be with five million domains. They gotta figure out how to have something that it's gotta go I, when you, you have know, five million, it, you have to have at least five hundred in a row. Yeah, it's always shocked me why they don't go harder on the registrar component of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's an ex- interesting. We should get him on the show and ask him about it. Why do you not go harder on the registrar component of your business? Just yeah. to him, just like right. that. You know, at the end of the day, it is basically the commodity element of the domain industry. Mm-hmm. It is. Yeah. But they've got that juicy 20, per- 20 cents you make. Mm. Juicy. It's good. Cheese on the burger, you know? So, anyway, uh, but what are guys' names? So, what, what are we doing? Yeah. Doing I don't- Let's see. I gotta... Name uh, name Jet. <laughs> name Bright gonna break. We've been doing this. We've been doing this for fifteen years, and we don't know what we're doing next. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I outlined the segments in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll let you know exactly what it is. We're gonna who's do going here. first? You want me to go? All right, let's go, Adam. 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 You're the only one prepared. Go. I like eliminate debt, and I like booyah, booyah, booyah. booyah. Jim Cramer is the. 
sole purchaser for that domain name. But he totally should own that. Yeah. And it's then it'll be worth left left. after he buys it. Yeah, when you when you do you have to have the H is what I was wondering because it seems the H I, is, I, don't, I, don't know I know the it's proper there. spelling. Yeah, I think I, with the H is the proper according to the Google uh, metrics, but it just doesn't look as good. But but I like that one. Ah, I, I feel like it would look naked yeah. without the H. Yeah. It would look naked without the H. I didn't realize Booyah was also a stew. And the uh and the actual it's a thick it's a thick stew. Mm-hmm. You to have originated Delicious in Belgium. Booyah stew. Made through the upper Midwest. You guys probably eat booyah all the time. Don't you guys eat a bunch of booyah up there in Wisconsin? Oh, yeah. I'm getting way. ready for, for lunch here in a minute. <laughs> get, get, your booyah booyah on. get your, get your booyah. booyah on for sure. I'm super down. Um, all right. So if you're buying a name like Booyah, what are you trying to pay for? Booyah, Jim. No, I'm not trying to pay too much. I don't know. I think, I mean, the S about appraisal is coming in at 23. I'd be looking for double, maybe even touching the sixes on that one. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm coming in buy side, you know, I don't know. I don't know on that one. Five to ten. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm I'm reading on some of the slang stuff, you know, when they talk about it's an exclamation of success. And maybe uh Stuart Scott, the late Stuart Scott from ESPN, used to drop it on the uh yeah. on Sports Center all the time. Oh yeah. Shout out to Stuart Scott, man. He was uh he was a real one. And uh okay, they maybe used it in uh Jerry Maguire, maybe. I'm just trying to see, like, you know, you mentioned Jim Kramer. Um it's like you gotta fade, you gotta fade Jim Kramer, you know what I mean? Like he's He's like one of those guys. It's the There's original a LFG. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, all right, cool. That's and right. Then, that's basically. And then on eliminate debt, Adam, I I think that's a fantastic name too. What do you uh you know what are you trying to pay for that if you can if you're if you're a buyer? Probably the same range, but like the thing I don't like about that one though is the word eliminate is kind of just right because people you know what do people people that are in see? debt. Yeah, eliminate E L E. You know, just it, it is a. I don't know. It's too many syllables. The people that are heavy in debt aren't great. Put the wrong syllable on the wrong. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Oh, I'm, I'm, I married him, so I married him. Axe murderer. Big shout out to Michael Myers. Um, but um, and, yeah, and believe so, it or not, people people type in D E P T for debt or D E. Mm-hmm. TB, I've seen. So, yeah, people. Dude, I'm know. sorry. Anybody typing that shit in for debt, there's a reason they're in debt. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, that's the problem. Well, it's, it's like, yo. They they go hand in hand. You know? Who gave you credit? Exactly. Man? Who gave you credit in the first place? Um, yeah. Hey, anyway. All right, cool. What, and then uh, give us a name that you don't like. Is there something that you're like, this, you know, I'm, I'm avoiding this one kind of no matter yeah. what? Yeah. Wolves. Come on, man. What? You don't like the wolves? Yeah. Wolf? Everything's got, everything's got, you know the right price. I like that. Well, yeah, the right price because yeah, it's, it's a family name, right? So it could be it like could, oh, Wolf Wolf Steli, right? Or yeah, I, I just Wolf Wolf Law Firm, right? Or yeah, that's true. It could be a possessive, not a plural. yeah. I, yeah I get, exactly. I get, I, possessive. I get the I get the possessive part, but yeah. There's actually a movie like, coming I got, out. I, I I own Strong's, right? Like S T R O N G S. But like, come on, you know, like no. Unless I open up a grocery store and start bagging people's groceries, it's, and it's not going to work. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's, that's you already good. got the uniform. I like it. That came together. Um, it, this is actually a strong. Movie strong sounds like a great grocery store chain. Yeah, strong, I'm ready. Yeah. Let's, let's strong. I, I actually like the plural of your name a lot. The, yeah, uh, Strong's. Yeah, I, I, I'll buy it. Yeah, I'm I'm bullish on Strong. You're shopping, so. You're shopping uh, at Strong's grocery store. Wolf's yeah, by the way, Wolf's with the S, like the this domain. There's a movie coming out, and it stars Brad Pitt and uh, George Clooney, and uh, it's coming out this year. So I think that's interesting. I don't know what the connotation is. It's called Wolf. Wolf's. What? Not, not true. Really. It's not wolves. It's wolves. Literally, this. It's the W O L F S. It is also a verb. What do you mean? Yeah, it's a yeah, verb. Sit down. I yeah, wolf it does. Down. We'll sit down. Oh, so, booyah. wolf sit down. Booyah, wolf Jim. 
Yeah. Wolf's, down Wolf's the booyah. Diner or uh, Strong's Diner. Look, dude, this Strong's just went from the name booyah. that Adam hates to like the most valuable name on the list. <laughs> exactly. This is the <laughs> this is the name. And don't forget, Wolf if is a gotta, first name. You like you said, this hard for it. Wolf is a first name, a last name. You know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm just saying. Germany, Wolf, Wolf, Wolf. Yeah, I'm, Wolf. I'm not. I'm not buying it. All right, all right, all no, right, fine. Most MVP. M- most MVD, most valuable domain. Um, MVD. We're talking about wolves. I left we're some. I left about... some. Bo- I left some meat on the bone for you guys. Come on, let's hear about the other ones. You know, yeah. wolves. All right, Shane, go ahead. All right, uh, I like the the CVCVs, the H O Q U, the Hoku, and the Zaba. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like mm. I like them because they have good resale value. If you need to get out of them, you can still get out of them pretty easily, and they have pretty decent end user. Um, mm-hmm. James Booth has been killing it with with them over the years. That's kind of been his his realm um, as well. But yeah, so I I like those two, and those can go for five figures wholesale, like even at auction. So it's oh, a, yeah, yeah. it just depends on the day what they go for. So um, I think you have to be prepared to pay ten grand for them at auction. Whether or not they're worth it or not, I don't know. It just depends on some of them. But like I look at Zava, and when I look at it, I feel like it needs another B. Like if I if I said that to somebody, they would probably spell it wrong. If I say Zaba, would you use another B if I just told you? Probably. Uh, I was just telling you. So no, I don't you know, I don't think so. I mean, maybe, maybe Zaba now that you said it. You know, I just remember when I was in the spelling bee in uh, fifth grade or whatever, and the word I got was apex, and I spelled that shit with two P's. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm like, I, you know, and I'm. <laughs> You've been haunted ever now. since. So you always throw one one letter on every time, no matter what. Well, I always cut like, the letter now. You know what I'm saying? It. I was like, because I was like A P P E X, you know? And then they were like, I was like first round, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, I'm going to take this, you know? I came in second in the geography bee. I'm like, yo, the spelling bee is my chance for redemption. I'm gonna show Allison Malunik what's up. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, and they're like Apex, and I'm like A P P E X, and they're like, and eh. you know, I'm like, oh, I should have had him use it in the sentence. Man, but, they threw this dude a softball, and he just like whiffed. I know it. that's what I'm saying. I totally did. And then I had to sit and watch they the rest of the shit from the straight state. down the middle, Apex. no gas, and he just Apex. whiffed. A P P E X, baby. You know what I'm saying? And I've, I've, I've that's what I'm talking about. How do you spell debt? D E E T. <laughs> yeah, D E P T. <laughs> exactly. Um, um, oh, okay, yeah. So let me keep going. Uh, yeah, but I those think, are both good. Uh, yeah, those to me, I, I do like those kind of names. Um, I thought Travel Bug was kind of a, a good brandable. It just depends if you get it cheap enough. But I, you know, it sounds like a nice little brandable. I, I've been putting names on Squad Elf, so now I'm starting to look at brandable type things again. How yeah. I haven't looked at it, so. I'm looking for those type of names. So those are those are the ones. And then I have to get a shout out to Putty. When I saw Diablos, all I could think of was the Diablos, the Diablos. I don't know if you remember Seinfeld when he painted no, his no. face. I don't know. Okay. Only Seinfeld. But hey, real quick, Diablos. let's go back to let's go to Travel Bug for a second because this one I couldn't tell if I liked it or not because <laughs> I couldn't tell if it was a positive or a negative, right? I think about bed bugs and stuff. With the sickness. You know, and yeah. then, uh, you know, True. being a little under the weather, but like, but I do think, you know, you got weather bug, travel bug. I could see it being like some kind of travel product. I could actually see it being one of these things where, you know, like weighing your luggage or you bring it as like a, you know, plugging, uh, you know, like an adapter or different, you know, some sort of a tool involved with that or an app involved with travel and, you know, that kind of thing. But I, you know, but I also, in my mind, I was also thinking bed bugs, which made it like, is this, you know, is this really a good one? I don't know. Or COVID getting a getting a sickness when you travel, getting the travel bug. Yeah, but, oh, dude. Yeah, you know, almost no, every time. It I used agree. to be when it, when and names. It is kind was of in, a 2007. Well, you know, it's funny. 2007 when called, naming convention. Well, and that's yeah. Get your, you know, uh, what do you call it? Get legionnaires. Get yourself a side of legionnaires. Get your legionnaires on. <laughs> yeah, I, I got. They almost killed me. They almost buried Adam. Me Adam took care of me like Florence Nightingale one time. We went to L.A. I don't know what I got, but I was the. It was the last time I've thrown up. The only time I've thrown up in twenty years. And Adam wow. brought me. I'll never forget. He he brought me like a Gatorade, but then he brought me some sports drink that I don't think has ever 
I've never heard of. I, I know he doesn't remember because I remember like he brought me a drink and I looked at him like this is like a Mexican like, athletic drink, but it worked. Like I just remember he was nice enough to bring me something in my hotel room. We, uh, didn't, we knew that, him each other fairly well, but yeah, he took care that of me. Florence was, like, was I fell in love with him. That was called Mama Juana. It's uh, a <laughs> Mama Juana. Hey, look it up. It's a uh, it's a uh, um, Haitian uh, medicinal uh, remedy for uh, for hemorrhoids. <laughs> I'm, just I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I'm... Mama Juana well, works. I haven't had hemorrhoids. Talk about, talk about Mama Juana is a no. thing though. It's a it, Mama Juana I know it is, is a, a spiced alcoholic drink. You know what I mean? So you had to Google that, didn't you, Jamie? Yeah, I. I I've been, to, uh, the, <laughs> I've been to the Dominican Republic. Oh man, it's funny. I got a whole um, story about Mama Juana and the Dominican Republic, but I'll well, save it for later. All right, we'll save that for offline. We'll save that for B roll. All right, cool. That's right. Um, and then, uh, so anything you don't like, Shane? Anything you you want to avoid? The balloon adventure, <laughs> like uh, balloon adventures, maybe, but no, nah, balloon adventure. Balloon adventure. I mean, anything you know. that I would, I wouldn't, I'd roll through it. Although twelve oh, people looks... have a back order, they think it's fantastic. Uh, they think it's at least worth sixty nine or seventy nine bucks because that's the minimum bid. All right, Drew. What about you, man? What do you like? Um, uh, I really like Wolfs.com. <laughs> <laughs> Wolfs.com. <laughs> uh, I also like Porters.com for mm-hmm. exactly the same reason. I really like Zaba.com a lot. I think that's a dope brand. Zaba. Zaba. It's like, I don't know. It's like, Zaba. I don't know. I like it. Gives me, Zaba. Gives me, uh, Strong energy. I think Zaba could just be a lot of things. <laughs> Zaba could be like an amazing like jewelry brand, luxury brand, could be a hotel brand. It's just a great I like Zaba a lot. Yeah. Don't uh, you think that'll go over five figures? Zaba will go for yeah. I, I don't okay. Ignoring I, I haven't looked if it has any SEO value, but assuming no SEO value. Uh, backlinks, etc. Uh, I think it does 15, 12 to 15. Right. Yeah, that's on name check. Yeah, it could could go to 20. Oh. All right, cool. Anything I like you don't it. like? I like it. How about Western Energy? I that's mean, one that caught my mind, uh, like energy well, domain. I, I, I like Bitcoin. Western Energy. I, yeah, I didn't really bring that one up because I'm probably buy that one. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the time for electronic books is gone you know what i mean like like yeah there's kindle there's branded players they're the biggest companies in the world there's nobody buying electronic books to you know it's like trying to buy books.com and compete with amazon you know what i mean like no stop you know and they call them ebooks anyway exactly yeah Yeah, they shorten the shit nobody you know who's you know looking for electronic books well, literally nobody. It's 16 searches a month. You know what I mean? Like, so electronic books is a freaking, you know, you're just, that's like burying money. Um, yeah. So look, I think it's all good. Um, that's it. I think we've covered almost every name on the list and uh there's definitely some interesting stuff there so everybody get your name jet on and get your bidding on uh not none of this is financial advice obviously um and uh but but all good all right so that's the name jet gonna jet segment now we're into finally what we call grand closing where if there's anything anybody wants to talk about that we have not already discussed covered or any of that kind of stuff i will start we've got names con coming up and uh and it looks like we are going to be in Austin, Texas, for the uh, for the event, so I'm I'm excited. I think we're even got we're even. I think we that may is have the even plan. Convinced, we've even convinced the one and only my, Andrew. My I think that might be my first domain conference attendance since 2019. I think it's not five, five, five years. Right? Oh yeah, five years. Five yeah, years. so it's so it's June 5th to the 8th in Austin. Um, and uh, you know the 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 hotel the R&D, they start. do a great job there. And, uh, you know, Austin's not the easiest place to get to, but um, definitely looking forward to seeing some people and doing what we do. So it's going to be definitely an away game for me. We'll do some live Sherpa. We'll do some stuff. You know what I mean? We're trying to help keep everything moving, you know, and it's like put our 
put our uh, presence where our mouth is, you know, all that kind of stuff, help, but, to help the industry forward. But I am excited to uh, get back to a conference. For all the reasons we talked about at the, the, the top of the show, you know, all the people I met at the beginning, you know, at that Vancouver show, uh, you, okay. Yanni. It is pretty cool, man. It all does kind of come full wow. circle. And, you know, and these opportunities where you're going to have the most people, you know. Tiger. Yeah. Probably see everybody there. So I don't know if we'll all see the people I met for the first time at that show. Yeah. All, all right. right. Good stuff. Uh, so, so, yeah. So, well, I was just saying, so that's, oh, we're just doing grand closing. So I'll go, I'll go, let's go around the horn. I was just shouting out names con. I'm saying everybody get your tickets, all that good stuff. Go to namescon.com. Yep. And, uh, you know, let's get busy. Let's get ready to see each other in a couple of months out there in, in, in Texas, you know, deep in the heart of Texas. Um, and that's, that's what's up there. What, what, so Shane, anything else on your end? I know we covered some of your stuff in the beginning. You got anything else? DSA. Yeah, no, I, I had a great job or uh, great time since I've been on an ICA. It was great. It was great to see everybody. And, you know, like you said, the people that we met a long time ago, everybody's kind of maturing. We're all hitting the middle age and everybody's setting up real businesses and, and the parties other than Triple G. <laughs> They've settled down a little bit. Triple G still had the flaming candles running out in the middle of the place. But other than that, um, and you get younger every day. But we uh, it, it was great to see everybody had a good time. It was what it's all about, right? Like um, talking after the bar over a couple drinks and uh, so I had a really, really good time in Vegas. Uh, my favorite was hiking. Like not, we, we hadn't hiking a uh, day before it was me and Stephen Kennedy and Mike Ambrose and Aaron Wilkin and just four hours of talking to mains, climbing. It's just like the perfect time. Like everything I love all incorporated into one thing. So I, I really enjoyed all that stuff. And uh, I'm heading to Leadville, Colorado in two days. And I'm going up there to train, go snowshoeing, skiing, running, just six weeks of away you know heads down working nobody's gonna bother me training in the morning and uh just getting away from everything i need i need some time just by myself I yeah love it, man. not That's i mean cool. my family's coming not that by yeah. myself <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah not on no. a complete walkabout but all good what, what are the dates no, no, what are no, the no, dates no. for uh uh names con june 5th, 5th. to the f uh june to 8th. the f to the f to the eighth to the eighth okay fifth to the eighth He's booking flights during the uh, closing. <laughs> yeah, well, I am. I'm, that's actually what I'm doing right well, now. We, yeah, well, we should. Yeah, we'll talk after. We'll, we got to get our like team stuff squared away. Are we showing up a day early? Yeah, see, a day everybody likes to talk. I like to take action. Boom. That's it. No that's time right. like the present, man. No time like the present. What about All you, right. Adam? Are you coming to names? What's time? up with you, Adam? Uh, I got nothing. Where uh, Strong's is having its uh, double coupon day on Tuesday. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> double bag day. Double bag it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah, double bag it. That's it. The strong. model at Strong's. Yeah, <laughs> strong. No, I got double bag. <laughs> we double get... bag it. <laughs> we double I got... bag it. I got nothing. Oh, I love it. Yo, it's good stuff. No regrets, baby. No regrets. Time right, that's good. Wow. Oh, there's a, only there's a. Okay. Anyways. All right. Was that something that you were sharing <laughs> with that you were trying to? T- I no, I'm just they, 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 it used to be I had to take make two stops to get to Austin. Now I can do it with one stop. Woo, see, look at that. Things are looking up. Things are looking up, ball, y'all. Adam, um, if right. you if we keep talking, Adam's not gonna be able to stop for the stoplights where I reset it. So <laughs> yeah, so hey, so we're out. All right, guys. Listen, thank you. Appreciate it. Shane, great yeah. to have you back in the mix. Adam, as always, thank you. Drew, you know what it is. Um, to the audience, thank you guys for tuning in. As I say on every show, without you, there is no us. We appreciate you all tuning in. Hit us up. You have any questions, comments, feedback, good, bad, ugly. We are not hard to find. Otherwise, we'll see everybody next time here on Domain Sherpa, where all roads lead to domains. Peace out, y'all.